So, Riker, American Song Contest, what made you decide to do this? Uh, you know, my, like, deep inside of me is just this, I feel like my purpose is to just entertain and to entertain as many people as I possibly can and hopefully brighten up their day a little bit while doing it. So, you know, American Song Contest being on uh, NBC, being a, a big show, uh, you know, kind of fits all my fits all the bills for me. I, I just love performing and I love uh, entertaining. So, you know, to do this on a large scale, like a, a big show like this is, uh, is a no brainer for me. Yeah. And why this show and not like The Voice or Idol or anything like that? Uh, well, this is the only show that asked me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they were very smart. You did incredible that night, and I'm so happy you made it Thank to the you. next round. Thank you. I am, too. I feel very, very grateful just to be a part of it, you know, is one thing, but to be able to move on to the next round is uh, is a, an amazing thing. I'm I'm very excited. Yeah, but you're no stranger to competition shows. I mean, we know you did Dancing with the Stars. You did awesome on that. So what's Thank different you. between each show other than the obvious singing versus dancing in terms of competition? um that's pretty much it i think uh i think the competition is a little bit more tight with american song contest you know i feel like uh there were a couple of us on dance with the stars that really stood out um you know as far as like the dancing ability goes um it's that's uh that's harder to learn and where and uh i think you know with american song contest everyone's coming in as professionals uh with you know singing and songwriting and performing so uh, it's it, it's definitely a really tight competition, um, but I think Dance with the Stars, doing Dance with the Stars, really prepared me for just live TV competition shows. You know, it's it's kind of the same format. You do a rehearsal, you do a camera blocking, you do a dress rehearsal, and then you're live on television. So, I think doing Dance with the Stars really prepared me, and I felt very comfortable for the first episode of American Song Contest. Very nice. And tell me a little bit about your original song that you performed on the show. How did you come up with that? What inspired it? Uh, Feel the Love for me is just about, um, you know, we kind of started with that lyric of it feels so good to be alive. And for me, what feels so good to be alive or, or what, you know, kind of lights me up is, is traveling to tropical destinations with my wife. And so I, I kind of wanted to bring in that sort of feel into the song and, you know, we have that sort of reggaeton um, island kind of drum beat, you know, um, and it's, it's really just all about spreading the love and enjoying the journey. You know, uh, it's not about the destination. It's, it's just about enjoying the journey of life, uh, you know, for every moment that you got and, and taking it, taking it all in and, and just trying to uh, to capitalize on, on every moment that we have on this awesome planet. Nice. And you have so many people that you've um, competed with on your first round of the show. Who do you want to collaborate with first and why? Oh, um, all right. So for my episode, um, I, I, I'm a big country fan. And Tyler, uh, who's representing Tennessee, I mean, he was phenomenal. He's like the nicest person. So cool. Um, I also loved Christian um, from the first episode from Puerto Rico. Uh, his song's called Loco. Oh, that song is so good. I would love to do a feature on Loco somehow or just do a show where we can both, you know, play our songs. Uh, and I would love to be up there and jam into Loco. I think that song is so good. Yeah, that would be a great mashup, actually. Your song and his song and just like a whole great thing. I think that would be an amazing mashup. I didn't think of it till just now, but I think that would be amazing now that you mention it. Yeah, it could be cool, right? We have kind of similar, uh, you know, vibes in a way. So exactly so it's going to be perfect let's make this happen again universe that's why i have the background that's we're right get out there <laughs> i love it and you also got to work with kelly and snoop tell me a little bit about that and is there a chance of a collaboration with either one of them well there could be i uh, i did some interviews yesterday and they, everybody was telling me that snoop dog on the red carpet everybody always asks him you know who did you like best and who would you want to collaborate with and, and apparently he said Riker. um so that that definitely could happen. Uh, and Kelly was super, super sweet. You know, she came up to us before uh, uh, on a commercial break and she was like, I just got to tell you guys, I think your song is so good. Your performance is amazing. Just do it. Just, you know, keep doing your thing. She was like, I loved it. Um, so, you know, well, maybe who, who knows? Maybe a tour. Like oh, that would be good. I would like that. I hear uh, the Penn State area is lovely for tours. Just saying. 
Yes, it is. Yes. I've been to Pittsburgh and um, Philly a couple times. Nice, nice. Well, if you guys all tour together, I'm definitely going to come and see you. Yes, please do. I will, absolutely. And what's next for you now that you know you're going to the next round, but do you have any other future plans once your show is over? Uh, once the show is over, um, we'll be having more music come out for, for my solo project. Um, I will also be going out on tour um, playing bass for the Driver Era, which are my brothers, um, unless I get my own tour, which in which case I would go do that. We'll see what happens there. Uh, but we have more music coming out. And um, this past year, I wrote and directed a short film called Aliens on Halloween. So that's doing the festival film festival circuit right now. So if it's playing in a in a city near you, you can go check it out um, at uh, any any film festival, really. Uh, we, we've been very, very fortunate to have a quite a few selections and uh, quite a few awards as well. So uh, people seem to really like the film. And uh, I'm also working on writing and directing my first feature film, um, which we're just starting to talk to producers and um, some throwing some casting ideas around uh, for some pretty big actors. So we'll see what happens there. But I, I think the script is really, really funny. And I think um, I think we'll probably end up doing it, that in uh, sometime in the next 12 months. Wow. How do you balance it all? The show, the movies, all this. How do you balance it all? <laughs> uh, you know, one one project at a time. I, I sort of uh, I sort of really dive deep and, and head first in one thing at a time. Sometimes I kind of have like a little thing on the side that I'm kind of finishing up or maybe just starting to kind of talk about or brainstorm on. But for the most part, I, I really just I'm like right now I'm I'm all in American Song Contest. You know, I'm, I'm singing, I'm doing vocal exercises, I'm making sure I'm staying in really good shape. I'm taking very good care of my body and very good care of my vocal cords, um, you know, just to be fully in on the show. And then when it comes time to move on to uh, the uh, the writing, directing side, I'll, I'll be uh, just focused on that. Incredible. One thing I like asking people I interview is tell me a fun fact about yourself. Because you've been around forever, but, you know, we, we, <laughs> uh, we feel like fact, we know you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I guess the, the newest fun fact is that I, I'm a licensed skydiver. So I, I can skydive by myself. I have my own parachute. I have my own jumpsuit. Um, and I've been about 70 times now. 71, I think, is what I hit. Um, on my, I went last week um, in between uh, the results and the um, in between the show the the episode we performed on and results I just went skydiving all week just to just to get my mind off things <laughs> oh, we could see that maybe we could see that in one of your music videos you skydiving and, and it's your big opening as you come into the video definitely yeah I love it I'm definitely figuring out how it's gonna be a skydiving video but there definitely will be one in the near future Oh, gosh, I am here for it. I love it. And mm. since we're also on TV, say, other than American Song Contest, what are you watching these days? Ooh, um, you know, uh, Yellowstone, although I'm a little bit behind. Um, I've been watching that. Um, uh, Drive to Survive is the uh, Formula One Netflix series. I'm a big Formula One fan. Um, also just watching the races in general, like the the new uh, upcoming races uh, and then uh, I, you know I'm from Colorado and I'm a huge hockey fan so the Colorado Avalanche are getting ready to start playoffs here in the next couple of weeks and um, they're looking like they're the, one of the best teams in the league so we're we're really excited about that and I'll be I'll be watching every game Oh, nice. Very nice. I like that, too. Yeah, I used to live in Pittsburgh. So yeah, right now hockey is a big thing. So yes, it is. Yes. And what would you say was your guilty pleasure TV show or movie? um guilty pleasure you know i every i like watching the bachelor or the bachelorette every once in a while that's a pretty good guilty pleasure um my wife loves that so every time i, I uh, or every once in a while when i watch it with her she gets really really excited um and it's pretty fun especially like the first couple episodes where you're just starting to meet everybody i like trying to pick the top three just from the first episode that's pretty fun um guilty pleasure movie Anything with Dwayne Johnston, huge. Nice. I'm a huge Dwayne Johnson fan. Um, and anything with Tom Cruise, I've almost seen every single Tom Cruise movies. I'm missing like four. Um, and so new Top Gun coming out. I'm so stoked. Nice. So we're going to see all three of you in a movie together one day, right? That's what you're trying to tell Abs me. A feature absolutely. film. All three of you are going to be in it, right? All three of us and I will be directing it. That's that's the goal. That's the, the cream of the crop right there. <laughs> Again, universe, throwing it out there. We're going to make it That's happen. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. And where can we follow you on social media so we could continue to follow your incredible career? Uh, social media, I'm all Riker Lynch. Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, 
Uh, I'm even on Patreon if you really want to dive deep behind the scenes. Um, Patreon.com slash Riker Lynch. Beautiful. Well, I'll be sending you lots of follows. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and good luck on your next performance. Thank you so much. It was lovely chatting with you. Likewise. And I'm sure we'll talk again soon when your next movie comes out. Yes, let's do it. We will. You have an open invite on my show anytime you want. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, all right. Have a Likewise. good day. You too. Bye. Bye.